Hello, today I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to use Anki app. Anki app is a phone app that allows you to make flashcards and then test yourself on those flashcards. Um, the reason I'm giving this tutorial on this specific app is that it has a range of functions that I've never seen in an app before. Uh, and it's these functions that make it highly effective uh, for revision going forward. So the first thing I'm going to go through is how to make the flashcards on the app. So the first thing you're going to do when you open the app is click the plus button at the bottom of the page. Um, that will allow you to start making a deck of flashcards. Once you've clicked on the plus button, you're going to click new deck. If this is the first time you're using the app, the, the new deck button might be in the middle of the screen, but um, new deck will be a option regardless, even if it doesn't look quite like my screenshot here. From this point, you're going to put in the name of your deck of flashcards. This title should be quite specific. In terms of history, what I would recommend is using the titles that are bold and underlined in the knowledge organisers. Uh, we're not looking for big topics, big key questions in Tudors, for example, we're wanting very specific, small topics that we study. The reason why you can have such specific topics is that this app has a tag function. What this allows you to do is group decks of cards under broader topic titles. For example, if I'm doing a deck of cards on Henry VII and trade, the tags I might include are Henry VII economy, Henry VII and Tudors. And therefore, if I want to, at a later date down, um, down the road, if I just want to revise Henry VII, um, but cover a lot of different topics about Henry the Seventh. Uh, this feature will allow me to do that. Once you've done that, you're going to click on the save button, which is in the top right hand corner. From there, what will appear is your first flashcard um, and it'll have a front and back square um, in the middle of the page. You are going to click on the front box first. When you click on the front box, a text box appears and what you are going to write in that is your question. This question should be very specific and have a very short answer in order for them to be effective uh, revision questions. So I've got an example here. What did the navigation acts encourage? So very short questions uh, with quite a definite answer at the end. Once you have finished your question and you're happy with it, you're going to click the next button, which is in the top right hand corner. On the back, you are going to write your answer. Um, please make sure you're using the knowledge organiser to um, write down your answer because it will make sure your answer is definitely accurate. Uh, we have seen revision material in the past where perhaps there's been a little misunderstanding about content and, and the answer is not quite accurate. So using the knowledge organiser to get your answers uh, will make sure that these revision cards are really uh, going to help you with revision. Once you're done, you're actually going to click the back arrow, which is in the left uh, top left corner of the page. If you click next, it'll just keep flipping from front to back, front to back. So you need to click the back arrow and it will not delete what you have written. Once you've clicked the back arrow, you'll get an overview of the entire card. Uh, so the question and the answer, double check that you are happy and then you're going to click save. Uh, once you click save, um, kind of a screen pops up and you can click the back arrow again to go back. Once you've clicked that back arrow, it kind of flashes up, hence why I've not got a screenshot of it. Um, you'll get an overview of the card you have made by this point. If you click the new button in the top right, you can make more flashcards and over time, 
um, the page that you can see on this screenshot will have more and more cards for you to see. So that was how to make the flashcards. The rest of this tutorial is how to test yourself on those cards and how to use this app to help you do that. So the first bit is going to be how to test yourself um, using just one deck of flashcards. So when you're on your home screen, um, which you can get to by clicking the home icon in the bottom left um, of the screen, you will get a list of your decks. And next to those um, decks will be a play button. Uh, and you're going to click on that play button. Straight away, questions will start to appear, um, the questions that you have written on the flashcards. You need to record your answer on either a piece of paper or a whiteboard. This doesn't have a feature where you can type in the answer, um, but having seen other apps, I don't think that is necessarily a negative. Um, I have come across apps in the past where it will mark you down as wrong if you don't have the right capital letter or a, a incorrect spelling or the exact phrasing. Um, so again, write down your answer somewhere, but I don't think that is necessarily a negative of this app. Once you are done, click flip. When you click flip, the answer is going to appear. So don't click flip until you have your answer written down. So you flip the card over, the question and the answer appear together for you to mark your answer. And then what you need to do at the bottom is indicate how you found that question. Fail is you got it wrong. Hard is you guessed right, you put an answer, you, you, to be honest, you didn't know if it was right or not, and it just happened to be correct. Good is that you got the right answer, but you had to think it through to get there. It, it didn't just pop into your head, you had to sit and think through what, what's the question asking and what is the answer. And then easy is one, top of your head, knew it, didn't really need to sit and think through what the answer was, it was just something that you could recall quite naturally. Um, that process will keep going on for the different questions. And then once you've got to the end, you will get a summary of how you have got on. It will tell you how many um, you got wrong, how many you found hard and, and so on. Um, what I don't want you to do at this point is to focus on the grading at the top. Um, as you can see from the screenshot, I put one question. There was just one question because I've set up a tester deck uh, to show you how this app, app works. So there's one question I picked good um, and it came out as a D. Um, so the grading is nothing that we put into the system. It's nothing that we've controlled um, and it is quite harsh. So please don't focus on the grade because it doesn't cor uh, correlate to how we assess you um, at all. Once you've done um, with looking at your results, how you've got on, if you want to go again on that same deck, you click continue. Um, if you are done, you click the back arrow. Now I'm going to show you how to use multiple decks of cards at the same time uh, and how to test yourself on a broader topic. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the folder button at the bottom of the page to the right hand side of the home icon. And once you've done that, you're going to click on groups at the top. And that will provide a list of all the tags you have used when you've been making your flashcards. So you'll see the Tudors, Henry the Seventh Economy and Henry the Seventh are on that list, uh, which are the tags I used when making the trade deck earlier in this tutorial. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the topic you want to revise. Once you've clicked on the topic, you will get this page and it will list all of the decks of cards that make up that topic. So it will show you what different topics you're going to revise as part of the broad heading. What you need to do is click review at the bottom and it's that button that will allow you to test yourself on the different topics at once. Um, you don't need to click on, say, Henry the Seventh and Trade, that'll just take you to that specific deck. So you need to click review at the bottom. Once you've clicked review at the bottom, it will go through the process like I, I showed you earlier with the single deck. The question will come up. You need to write down your answer, click flip, uh, and then say at the bottom how you found that question. 
that is where this tutorial is going to end. So I've explained how to make flashcards, how to test yourself on a single deck of cards, but also how to test yourself on multiple decks at the same time. I hope you found it useful. And if you are one of my students, feel free to email me with any questions. Thank you very much, Fran. That looks like a brilliant bit of software that's going to really, really help our students with their revision. Make sure you can create lots of wonderful resources and you can do something interactive and really get that content nailed. Remember to watch all the videos from the different playlists. So the uh, American Civil War cause, course and consequence one, uh, the Tudor one, all the other ones. So you've got that knowledge ready to use with those exams and with this wonderful bit of software. Right. Huge thank you again to Fran. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, to subscribe and to comment. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.